hello there and welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to install ubuntu on your virtual box in windows 10 or 11. so virtual box is going to make it easy for you to have another operating system on your current operating system and you know ubuntu is on linux and i tell you ubuntu is cool to do this we need two things first we need a virtual box that will make it easy for us to install the Ubuntu operating system. So click on Oracle VM Virtual Box. And when the page loads, click on this big button that says Download Virtual Box 6.1 or whatever version it shows when you are watching this video. You click on it. Then you click on Windows Host. When you click on it, it's going to start the download. But I have it already on my system, so I'm not going to click this button right now. But you should click on it to download the virtual box. The next thing you need is the Ubuntu operating system. So let's search for Ubuntu on Google. Click on the first search result and click on download. This is the version you download that says LTS because it is currently supported and this is the latest version of Ubuntu. I also have this so I'm not going to download this but since you don't have it you have to click on this button to download this Ubuntu operating system. Now when you have both files downloaded you go back and install the virtual box that is the file you downloaded from clicking this button install it on your computer it's pretty straightforward just click yes install ok for everything and you will have virtual boss installed so i believe you have your virtual boss installed now and when it is installed on your system the next step for you is to open it up so i'm going to open my own virtual box as you can see it's empty like yours so follow through with me the first thing you need to do is to install your Ubuntu on your computer is to click on new. Then you name your file, you name uh, the operating system. So I tend to call it with Ubuntu with the name of the current version, which is version 22.04. That is the one I downloaded just like you, 22.04, as you can see. 0 0.04. The system is wise enough to know that it's a Linux system with Ubuntu version 64 bits. You can also decide on where you want your Ubuntu operating system to be installed. For me, I've created a new folder called Virtual OS in one of my files. So I'll be installing mine here. You can call yours anything. Then you click on next please follow me through you click on next then here you have to select the memory size i always tend to push it to this particular place where the color changes so that it will not affect the operation of my system normally you click on continue your here you select your add disk size there's pretty nothing for you to do just leave it as it is create a virtual add disk now and click on create same thing add disk file type leave it as it is virtual box disk image click on next leave it on dynamically allocated click on next you see it's pretty straightforward for this i always like to push it to let's say a hundred depending on what your memory size or what you want you can push it to two terabyte or you leave it at 10 gigabyte whatever it is is up to you then you click on create as you can see it has been created but before we start this ubuntu this particular one we have here we have to do some quick settings so i like the one you just installed and click on settings the first thing we do on the general section is go to advanced share clipboard leave it as bi-directional drag and drop bi-directional 
description you can leave it as it is this encryption you can leave it as it is next is system there's nothing much for you to do here just leave it as it is then processor you can move that a little bit till where the color starts so that your ubuntu operating system will also be fast acceleration leave it as it is display there's nothing to do here then storage so in this storage this is where you're going to be using the ubuntu file you downloaded from the ubuntu server so click on storage then click on empty this empty this one then click on this icon this small disk icon so that you are going to load that ubuntu operating system you downloaded so click on it then you choose a disk file so locate where you kept it on your system i have mine inside of this ubuntu folder and this is it on your computer you should know where yours is so click on it and open then you click on ok when you've done that the next step for you is to click on start so right now we are starting the ubuntu operating system and we should be able to go on with our installation now you are on this page there is nothing to do here just click on enter on try or install ubuntu so you click on enter on your keyboard then you wait there will be a lot of waiting so please bear with me the system is starting up You're going to love this on your computer because Ubuntu is a pretty straightforward operating system. It's not as bloated as Windows and it's very fast. I mean, the Linux OS itself is very fast. So you can imagine what Ubuntu that was built on it would, you know, behave like. So while we wait, So just wait a little while for this to load. Your operating system is loading. So you're going to see this desktop screen, but the installation is still going on. As you can see, my icon is still loading. It's still loading, so the installation is not complete yet. So you just give it a while. You wait a little bit for it to load. And when it is loaded completely, it will take you to this page where you select your language. So I'm going to select English. Then you click on install Ubuntu. Don't forget, install Ubuntu. Then this is the keyboard layout. You choose your keyboard type depending on your country. I'm from Nigeria and I practically love to use the US English. And my keyboard type is the US English. So, depending on your country or where you're from and how you like your keyboard, you have to make your selection here. So, I select English US, English US, and click on continue. Now, when you click on continue, leave it on normal installation, download updates while installing Ubuntu, Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. Please ensure you're connected to the internet to complete this installation. Check all the boxes like I've done and click on continue. So the installation is going on and while it is going on all you need to do is just to wait and you should be ready to continue clicking when you leave this page so depending on how fast your internet may be or how fast your computer may be this page may take a little bit of time well that was fast for me now installation type leave this on erase disk and install ubuntu don't worry it's not going to affect the files on your computer trust me just leave it as this erase this can install ubuntu then click on install now it 
it's going to bring you a notice don't be scared just click on continue while you click on continue as you can see the mouse icon is loading so it still shows that the installation is still going on pretty smoothly now you have to select your country or your location i'm in nigeria and i'm in lagos state in nigeria so it has detected that automatically from my um the time system on my computer so i click on continue to go on with the installation then this is where you name your computer so i'm going to call mine precious i like to leave everything as you know my first name so i take out virtual box my username is the same precious then Select a password or impute a password that you like and one that you can remember. This is going to be what you are going to log in with. Then click on continue when you have properly filled this page. Your name, your computer name, your username and your password and your password confirmation. Continue. Now the installation has begun. All you need to do now is just to sit down, get a cup of coffee, do whatever it is you want to do, or just look at the pages. I mean, you can slide through and read some cool stuff about what Ubuntu has to offer for you. So we're going to wait for the installation to be complete. Then we are going to navigate this new operating system on our operating system together. So I'll be waiting and I hope you have your fingers crossed too. So let's wait together while the installation and the file copying goes on. If you're waiting, you don't have to be scared. You know, it's a pretty big operating system. I think almost three gigabytes. So it will take a little while for it to install. That is why I said you should grab a cup of coffee or, you know, do something else. So while we wait, I believe you're brushing up on shell commands because it's pretty wonderful to use shell commands on your Ubuntu operating system terminal. So let's wait for our system to install. Like I said, it's based on your network and also how fast your computer is. So fingers crossed. So if your installation is complete, you'll be brought to this page that would ask, that would tell you that installation is complete and that you should restart your computer. Note, it is not your real physical computer that will be restarted, but the virtual box, the Ubuntu that you just installed on the virtual box. So click on restart now. And your system is restarting so let's wait and see what comes up after this load page so now it's telling you to please remove the installation medium then press enter you don't need to remove anything just press enter on your keyboard So I've pressed enter. So let's wait for the screen to load up again. Just be patient because it's the first time. So it will take a while for the system to come up. It's trying to sort out itself. It's a fresh installation. So while all that is happening, just wait for the page to load and for the loaded screen to disappear. So right now, my system is fully loaded. And as you can see, my username is being shown here. It shows that my, my profile has been created and all I need to do is just to log in. So click on it. Remember the password you imputed when you were installing Ubuntu. So I've imputed my own password, enter. And let's see, it's going to take us to the system now. So like I said, 
is because the installation is fresh, so everything is still taking quite a bit of time to, to load. But definitely we'll get in. So there you have it. Ubuntu is installed. So you can skip all these. Nest, nest, and nest. You can open these at a later time. Done. So there you have it. Your Ubuntu system has been installed on your computer successfully. So the next thing for us to do is to ensure that the system is in a full screen. As you can see, it's in the middle of the page. So we want it in full screen, just like what we have, the way this page is spread out. So that would be in another video because this one is getting quite too long. You're going to find the video on how to make Ubuntu full screen on VirtualBox on this channel. Congratulations on installing Ubuntu on your VirtualBox. Right now, you can run Ubuntu on your Windows computer. Once again, congratulations, and I believe that you are ready to code. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.